Hello friends, welcome to part 1 of this tutorial. Uh, this is the plan in AutoCAD. Uh, we'll see uh, the each and everything in this plan and then we will uh, go in 3D Max. First, I'll just explain you about this plan. Uh, uh, this is the plan what I got from the uh, architect. It is very crude plan. So each and everything uh, we have to decide in 3D Max. Uh, we we don't have to decide basically he has told me uh, some uh, points that we have to follow then um, he uh, he have not provided me the elevation he had just provided me the plan and elevation we have to decide we have to do in 3d max so this is the uh, basic uh, uh, living area and this this is the stairs uh, area and this is the open garden and here will be uh, a balcony uh, you can see over here it's a first floor so it's a basically a villa project and uh, and this is the back side of the bungalow this is the back side of the uh, and this is the front side so and this is the border uh, boundary wall uh, this is the pool area where uh, this this the arc is uh, showing the dividation in the pool area so generally uh, it means that this pool is divided with a uh, kids pool area something like that so just, just we have to divide uh, in this way or in a straight way uh, we can decide later on and this is the pebbles uh, garden and this is the pebbles area here will be the garden so we have to show the some plants and sh some bushes and grass over here and this is the first floor plan and we don't have to concentrate on interiors basically we just have to uh, concentrate on exteriors so this is out of question what is inside right now so this is how uh, plan it is to to uh, to make a, a work a workable drawing in 3d max we have to uh, edit all those things uh, like hatches and text we don't want so i'll just start with my uh, uh, work now so i'll i'll make i don't want this hatching area I just want the boundary of this line and uh, most uh, important the plan is in feet u n i t s units enter the plan is in feet so uh, the same thing i will follow in 3d max so uh, now i'll go to layer palette i'll press l a on my keyboard i'll just take layer i'll say 3t underscore gr underscore wall this is how I generally give the names to the layers so we don't forget it uh, what uh, in which layer what is just make a color so that it will be recognizable I'll just make this layer current so whatever work I'll do that will be in this layer now I'll say BO on my keyboard that is boundary fill I'll select this and I'll say space bar or enter so now this is the boundary and this also is you have to take in boundary so now I'll just save this plan save villa save working and go to layer palette again LA 
and I don't want all those layers so I'll just make that off so I'll just press ctrl s so this information is saved and I'll go in 3d max so I'll just uh, started my 3d max I'll go and say import go to file say import selecting the villa working file and the types will be I'll use legacy AutoCAD say open I'll say merge object with current scene because I don't want to completely replace my scene so here it is uh, what I have uh, chosen to derive object by layers and I don't want any of these options unify normals auto smooth and uh, weld so I'll say ok so this is the plan now we have to extrude uh, these walls just make sure uh, your setting should be in feet before importing this plan just go to customize say unit setup just make sure you are in decimal feet or your system setup is one unit is equal to one feet either so I'll just switch uh, decimal feet before importing this drawing so make sure uh, you do this so now uh, I want so the height will be 15 feet so I'll just go to modify modifier list I have made a shortcut over here I'll say extrude I'll say 15 feet so this is uh, what we got actual 15 feet I'll just change this realistic to share it because I don't like that realistic mode it takes more uh, memory of the system so this is how I want it from AutoCAD to 3D Max so this is the best way uh, to import uh, from AutoCAD and directly extrude those it, it takes very less time so then we'll move with second part on AutoCAD I'll just unhide all those things now I want the spool area I'll say layers I'll make one more layer 3d whatever I'm uh, importing from AutoCAD it will be uh, naming will start from 3d itself so I'll say pool that's it and uh, color will be yellow will fine and I'll make this current the shortcut is alt C I'll say BO boundary pick points so this is how it's obstructing so I don't want to happen this so I'll just trim it TR so now I'll say BO don't want this I'll just go to less and say invert say off Let's say press ctrl s let's just go to 3d max import say we love working say open merge now this is very important you always use merge with current scene we don't want to replace anything so I'll say ok it's fine so this is the correct position of what we have in AutoCAD and now in 3d max I'll just go and add extrude I don't want such a big so I'll just say one feet 
so then we can add a depth with other object so this was wow well, this was now uh, with this uh, this part in next part we'll add some more details and more things so if you liked my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and meet you in next part thank you